so it begins. Going to Pinchcott Lake. Got uh, three very badly behaved dogs behind us right now. Here's a uh, fearless leader, Matt, and Megan, the co pilot. So uh, it's the end of the summer, uh, Labor Day weekend, and Matt was trying to find somewhere to rent, and we couldn't really decide on anything, and so. Um, Decided to go spend the night in his parents' cabin, which for Matt is a a big um, a big consolation because uh, he he doesn't like camping, but uh, hopefully it'll it'll be fun. It's not that I hate camping; it's that the idea of camping is always better than the reality. Like you think it's going to be fun, and you know, fun with your friends and nice weekend away but it turns out being more work I mean you gotta prepare for it you gotta set everything up and tear everything down you gotta cook on a fire like I know it sounds great but then when you wake up on a paper thin mattress on the ground in a tent and you're wet and uncomfortable it never works out the way it's supposed to be he's just never gone with the right people although every time I've ever gone camping I've never got to sleep on an air mattress. And you're still... So, and I still go camping. And you still go camping. Sucker for punishment, I guess. So you just slept on the ground? Yeah. In a sleeping bag. Hmm. With like a blanket underneath for added cushioning. But that was it. I didn't realize there was a detour. We would have taken a different route if I had known there was a detour. Oh well. And the problems start already. We have arrived. We got the gear to unload now. Hi, girls. Speaking of the cabin, this is what we're dealing with. So, as I mentioned before, my uh, family has owned this land for about 20 years. And like 10 years ago, I guess, my father and, you know, enlisted the help of some friends and we built this structure uh, and it really is just that it's just structure it's just skin and bones it's not finished or livable or anything yet uh, we have power uh, but no outlets so like the land has power that's what that's what um, power the power tools to build it but uh, there are no outlets in the building so this is literally just skin and bones hey, it's better than, than it could be better than a tent better than camping in a tent yeah i mean this is my first newfoundland cabin experience so yeah well really you're, to see what's all we're about. really roughing it in this case <laughs> all right let's go see we're going upstairs i'm just picturing that riding into as a little kid in one of those uh little snow suits like they had in a christmas story where you this is uh this is what we're dealing with here so like i said very basic stuff um but yeah we're just gonna clear out some of the stuff that's being stored here and Sleep on the floor in some air mattresses. So you helped build this? Um, I mean, I'm sure that I didn't have a very big part in it. Babe's cleaning up.
Hey, Bailey. Who's having a good day? Hi, June. Straight that way. Oh, cool. Is this your parents' car? Um, that, that, that was my parents' car. That was my first car. Oh, uh, wow. And it's now a, uh, a car that it's not worth fixing. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. Got too many problems. Hey, hey Wubus! Hey, I was worried about you. You were swimming and visiting neighbor water, dogs, I'm you. sure. <laughs> you can run as much as you want, as long as you come back. Yeah. He, uh, you know what? He was probably down at the lake wondering where we were. Probably. Fantastic. <laughs> Whoa. Two days of this? I mean, Bailey sometimes gets tired a couple of hours. I mean, hopefully after two days, she'll sleep for two days. <laughs> So, um, the people over there, that's like a really fancy cabin, right? Yeah, I think they live here. Oh, that's like someone's house? Yeah. Okay. It's basically a, a cottage is what we call like a house in the woods. You're not really roughing it. Yeah, oh, okay. You're just going to your second home. So, like, um, <coughs> I've heard of cottage in the context of like Ontario. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. cottage country. Yeah. Would that be the same deal? Like fancier, house, yes. like a house yeah. in the woods. Hey June. <laughs> Ideal beach day. Tell us what happened. I got stung by something. And I apologized. And then what did you say? Don't apologize. Because it was Mother Nature's fault. See? <laughs> Want to investigate. There is not just a wasp nest, there is a motherfucking big wasp nest. Oh. Wanna see it? No. That's 
what we got to do. <laughs> We're spending uh, a while on the beach. I think that we're going to spend a little time just, just chill. chilling, cuddling, <laughs> reading. Camping. You doing? Like camping? Yeah, you guys do. It's everything that you guys love, right? We've got friends. Yeah. Food, we have friends. lights. And we have food. Let's dig in. Um, you want to grab a couple plates for Everybody's getting settled. Oh my god. Dogs are settled. Tell us how you slept. Great. That's not true. Less than great. Hold yourself. It's all part of camping. What do we got here? Bacon. Mm, bacon. Toast. Toast. Two eggs in each. Juniper. <laughs> you wet and unhappy? Yeah. Billy's wet and happy. You're wet and happy too, aren't you? How you guys feel? <laughs> Paul set. We I wonder if this is technically indoors, Paul, and you're not supposed to open that. Well, despite a great weekend, we needed to come for some real food and coffee. So here we are. Just...
So we enjoyed the weekend, I think. And the dog... <laughs> something <laughs> collapsed. I think the dogs definitely enjoyed the weekend. Yeah. Um, what, did you, what did you think? How did, did, you, did you enjoy yourself? I did. It was good. A little tired. Yeah? But that's usually how camping ends. Mm -hmm. You never get a really good night's sleep. Yeah. It would be nice to get a shower and use a real Absol bathroom. Absolutely. Instead of an outhouse with wasps. Yes. Not quite the weekend we had hoped to plan. No. But what can you do? Yeah. We may do. I guess that's the message here, isn't it? That's the moral. You make do. Yeah. I mean, a bunch of our plans fell through. We had adapted and we just used what we had and used the supplies that we had and we made do. After I voiced some of my displeasure, Brennan asked me, uh, so we're not going camping again then, are we? And, uh, you know, you know, maybe, um, you know, he inferred that I wasn't a fan of roughing it. But the thing is, is that I'm, like, I've roughed it before and I'll rough it again, but it's usually more desirable when it's in the pursuit of something better. Like, when you're on a trip and you have to deal with, you know, less than stellar conditions, in order to just to get where you're going to like i've i've slept sitting straight up i've slept on a floor i've slept uh you know sitting up in a chair you know i've gone a long time without sleep so i mean i've dealt with on with bad conditions but it was always in the pursuit of something better when roughing it is the goal when that is your idea of vacation or that's how you want to relax that's what i don't get I like camping with you. I don't know, it's just like me. Uh, no, I don't want to go over. Yeah. <laughs> Does it look really bad? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should flip this around. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs>